I went from condos to pops house. On calls now bus routes. And the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. And kind of speaking on that, we just had a you know situation that I also talked to Rafi about when he was here. The situation that happened uh, with uh, PNB Rock at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, when it come down to that situation and everything like that, what are your thoughts on what happened to PNB? Um, I mean, it could happen to everybody. Yeah. The, just to be honest with you, I have spoke on that. It's about greed. You know what I mean? Greed, envy. Same thing I did. I mean, I did that. I was on the other side of. I, I grew up and I lived on the other side of where PNB Rock was, and we um in our in our our lost mentality we didn't we didn't see it as, like like I see it now as an adult. So I would be remiss to speak of it of how it was because I I mean remiss to speak of it now to speak to a kid because I was that kid before I was that person younger, and then when you hear the politics of it. You hear that the father may have had something to do with it, and that's foreign to me. That part is foreign to me because you, you're you telling your offspring to go do something, and it's not sending him to war. It's sending him to go rob something. But, I mean, you know, we in L.A. Yeah. When I go to Chicago, I respect Chicago wholeheartedly. I check in. When I go to Atlanta, I check in. When I go places, I check in. And I don't think nobody – it's safe. I know dudes right now from L.A. who are actual gang members who have been robbed for their jury, who real killers, like who really real killers. Like if he ever find out who did that, he going to knock everybody down. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You just call slipping. Yeah. You know, that's how it is. You know what I mean? And, and you try your best not to be slipping. And if you have the means not to, why do it? You know what I mean? And, and it's just about, sometimes it's about respecting, you know, yourself and then trying to get home. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I hear a lot of back and forth on that. But, I mean, I don't know that it's a perfect answer other than me, myself, I check in. Yeah, yeah. And in certain places, I'm going to tell a dude if they check in with me. Now, I don't think you should go there now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he might yeah. want to go to the other one. Yeah. And I'm glad that you mentioned that because it, it seemed like, Anybody that I speak to or that's from L.A. kind of like have an understanding when it come down to, you know, the checking in situation, you know, no matter who I speak to, no matter who sit down at this table. But it seemed like a lot of outsiders have a different understanding of that when it come down to speaking on that. So can you kind of like go into that a little bit more in depth and, under, and let people understand you, what you mean by that when you say checking when, in? When I say that, I mean exactly what I said. Yeah. There ain't no sugar coated, ain't no nothing in it ain't not one human being that's not gonna check in. When when you if you let, let me give you on a bigger scale. Um, the United States of America and all these countries have what is called air silo, I mean um airspace. Yeah. If you invade their airspace with a plane, they consider that an act of war. If you want to come in their airspace, you're gonna check in. You can choose not to, and it's gonna be a problem. If dudes come and you move it in a certain way, if you choose not to check in, you suffer the consequences. You feel like you got something that's bigger than what is there. And I just, because I do it, it's, it's foreign to me to hear people speak how they, I'm not gonna check in, but then that's the ignorant dude because that's the dude who wants the internet fame. Any real dude that's ever really been in LA, he checked in. Any real dude that's ever been in Atlanta, he checked in. If you moving and you getting money, you going to check in because you need to know the right places to be and places not to be. That's a businessman. Yeah. So, I mean, but shit, some people feel like I am who I am. I had to show them that I was a man.